practice origami. Origami is a folding technique using paper or fabric. The existence of origami has been around since the beginning of the collection paper. Origami is also an art for folding paper to make objects of various shapes. For example, ships, butterfly, boats, and others. Origami can be classified two types of origami, which are traditional and modern origami. In addition, traditional design are public domain because there is no copyright with modern design are copyrighted one. All origami in the world geometric shapes because they are easy to form if you use this type of shape. Even origami can be used as an ornament and a game for children either at school or home. They can also show off their creativity in paper for the skill to their friends or family. In school, teacher can be competition origami in the class and choose the most beautiful and neat origami to be the winner. However, origami can make everyone happy with diversity of creativity origami. Hi everyone, today I want to tell you a story about origami. Origami is the Japanese art of paper folding. Ori is the Japanese word for folding and kami is the Japanese word for paper. Origami start in China where paper was the first invented 100 years of years later. A month travel in the, to Japan to introduce paper to the country. There was very little paper available, so only the rich could afford to do paper for them. Origami just be used in a formal ceremony and religious as easier paper making methods were developed paper become less expensive. Origami become popular art to everyone no matter if they are rich or poor. People began to use origami as gifts and as education tool to learn shapes and math. Many tutorials with a different pattern out there. In 1764, the first book about origami was published. Later in 1797, a book titled Secret Technique of the Thousand Craft Folding was published. One person note that is very important in the story about origami is Akira Yoshizawa, who was known as the grandmaster of origami. He created more than 15,000 models of which if only a few design we present as diagram in his 18th published book Origami. Hi and Assalamualaikum, I'm Oriana and I'm going to proceed with the application of origami. Believe it or not, origami is behind all sorts of new innovations in the world today. That's because origami's subtle beauty arises from powerful mathematical principles that work just as well in the world of matter and plastic as in paper. With origami, it's possible to create large structures that fold up for transportation or for squeezing into tiny spaces. And the intricate folding patterns can be used to make complex mechanical systems with movements that can be controlled by a single motor. There are a few new devices that are inspired by origami. The first one is Deep Sea Crabber. Harvard University roboticist Robert Wood recently used origami to design a crabber for catching delicate deep sea creatures. It is used to trap soft-bodied marine animals like jellyfish and octopuses without harming them. The second one is Bulletproof Shape. A team of engineers at Brigham Young University use origami to design a 55-pound shield that is wide enough to protect several people and yet can be folded into a shape that fits easily into the trunk of a car. 
And the last one is tiny ingestible robot. Researchers at MIT have created an origami inspired bot that folds small enough to fit in a pin. Once inside the body, it's designed to unfurl and steer its way through the gut with the help from external magnets. It is designed to help doctors perform simple surgical procedures without opening up the patient's belly. Hi everyone, I'm Zara. So after all the information that was given by my friends, now it's my turn to share about pro tips and tricks that you could choose when you start doing origami by yourself. First of all, you have to make sure that you use the right size of paper. For example, make sure that you use a square size of paper for each origami. Next, you have to fold the origami paper on top of a hard plate surface. Thirdly, make sure that you line the edges carefully on each fold because just a little bit overlap can make a difference later on. And don't forget, if it was your first time doing origami, you have to make sure that you use a larger sheet of paper than the usual origami paper which more smaller because it will help you to do origami and it will be a lot easier for you and lastly make sure to follow step one by one carefully and slowly take your times and i believe if you follow all the tricks and all the tips you can do origami just like us. Don't forget to try! Let's do it origami instead. First, prepare a paper. Take the sides and fold so that they are the same. After that, fold left and right. Fold the top, tear the edges a little. Then, fold the paper like this. Open and full left and right. Fold this piece of paper and turn it upside down for it. After that, fold a little left and side and right. And Jet Origami is ready. Hi guys, today I want to make origami boat. First, you have to start with rectangular piece of paper. Fold in half and then open. Next, fold in half downwards. Bring the corners into the center line. Fold uppermost layer upwards. Do the same to the back. Crease well. The next step is pull the side out. Fold front layer up to the top 
and do the same to the back. Next, put the side upwards and flat. Next step is gently pull the top parts of the model out. The last part is flat weight to crease all folds. Then open slightly for me a boat shape. Finish boat. The first thing that we need for this step pole shape origami is a 15 cm by 15 cm size paper or you can use any size that you prefer. The first step is fold the paper diagonally and then fold the paper into half for two times like shown in the video. The next step is open the paper over to the right. For its head, squash, fold the paper flat. And then for the tail, fold the lower part of the paper behind. For the last step, you can add any little details such as eyes or based on your creativity or preference. And this is the complete tap pole. Prepare a square shape of paper and fold the paper in half both ways then unfold it. Then fold the left and right edges to the middle. Fold the top and bottom edges to the center. Next, unfold the top and bottom flaps. Pull the left and right flaps from the middle up and out to the sides. Squash the bottom edge to the center. Now repeat the same steps on the top section. Fold the top left and bottom left points as shown. Then Fold the corner like what I did here. Fold the flap down from the center as shown. Do the same things to the upper section. Next, fold the top and corners to the right as shown. This is what it should look like. Lastly, flip the model over to the other side. And for the finishing touches, you can add eyes or follow your creativity that you have on your mind. Go and try it!